One of the most legendary, iconic, and genre-defining games of all time. Warcraft 3 is getting a remaster. Is trouble brewing? Reforged is going to be an exciting new chapter for Warcraft 3. Ready to work. Be happy to. Work complete. Okay. Work complete. What the fuck is this? Gerald, what's happening? What's going on? That's not in the blueprints. How did that get approved? Our gold mine has collapsed. I can see your house burning. What we have here is a failure to communicate. We have to preserve these games. We cannot break the fun. We want to extend it to generations to come. But people are complaining about connectivity issues. Not being able to get into the games, not being able to join custom games. I'm a medieval man. He's focusing on the consumables. He's got the greater healing already. Now taking the second one. Wand of mana. Stealing. I have a desync. You too? Yeah, we have a desync. Okay. And this is a point that I'm bringing home over and over. Shadowhunter is desperately, desperately required. No! Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, say so we get level three. <clears throat> and then... Uh, Dude. Dude, are you serious? What the fuck? What the fuck? So it's not that multiplayer isn't working, it's that sometimes you'll get hung up and you need to restart the game. You can't see the hero portraits here. The shaders are missing for my unit, so the unit's colors looks a little flat. If you've got the color bug, you'll meet just about anyone, which means you'll either meet too easy or too difficult people. Yeah, it's cool. I've been trying to figure out why the main menu performance on Warcraft 3 Reforged is so bad. It ends up the whole main menu is a web app running on Chrome. This thing runs worse than the actual game, likely because it's begging an entire core of my CPU. By the way, the game itself, 25% CPU. The main menu, 150%. The main menu is more expensive than the actual game. What's done is done. Um, and when the art was so, like, I don't know, um, low quality. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, shorter. 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 No, uh, the, the, the standard des the <laughs> definition, right? Uh, so everything was... You, you really didn't know what was happening a lot of time. You think you're above the law? Um, we did take a step away from the aesthetic that was created back in 2002, 2003, um, and we decided to kind of push that, like, hey, we're Blizzard now, like, how would we make this game if we were breaking it brand new, like, Warcraft 3? No, 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 not like that. Let me do it. Yes, me lord. More work. I can't build that. All right. Off I go then. Get on with it. Whatever. Upgrade complete. Well.
the old client is gone. Even if you have not purchased Reforged, the Battle.net client will download a useless 30 gigabytes of art assets and upgrade your game to the new UI and BNet integration. That means that the only way to play Classic Warcraft 3, the one that works flawlessly, is to install an old version and to keep it as far away from the BNet client as is possible. <laughs> This kingdom shall fall, and from the ashes shall arise a new order that will shake the very foundations. <laughs> uh, other big changes that we saw, I mean, they added uh, a couple things like, oh, we have female demon hunters now, female death knights, right. female zombies. Alternates for like, alternate, not even just like, uh, not just gender swaps, but also like they're just making new variants of all the heroes so that like... There's a little variety from those taverns. When you pick a hero, it's not always going to be like, hey, it's Illidan yeah. again. No. Yeah. This Illidan face is... Look at the model. Look at this. What is that? And something they're a little bit sensitive about, and it was always a subtle thing of like, we want to kind of modernize some of the character models for the future audience, like the 2020 audience. It's like, what are you talking about? It's just less cleavage on a lot of characters in the game. Just a little more subtle <laughs> character design overall. Um, other interesting thing was for like the inspiration for the new art uh, overall mm -hmm. is they look to a very specific cinematic, which I didn't expect, which was the Miss of Pandaria opening cinematic. That's right. And wow. I, I don't know, Andy, you're a huge WoW guy. I don't know if you noticed this, this shift, but they saw that as like the end of the kind of like exaggerated Warcraft look. And since then, Warcraft, World of Warcraft has pushed towards more realism. But they said that with that cinematic, they really love the kind of Popeye jaw on the humans and the more kind of slightly cartoony old school look. You got to get the big shoulders, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And so that's the look that they're going for. Yeah. That cinematic to push back into Warcraft 3 now for the redesigns. Now, what they did do, there are things where they did improve character models, except for they didn't do that. So they shouldn't get any fucking credit. There's a company out of Malaysia that did all of the character stuff for them. It did all the character stuff for them in StarCraft. They didn't even that do the, the thing. That was the one thing. Thing that they did, okay. and they didn't do it. What That's what they, they, they did. did. They didn't even do it. And so, was upgraded character yeah. models. They basically outsourced their game uh, to another studio, and so you see Arthas. What does Arthas look like? Arthas doesn't look like a you know a crown prince turned evil. Arthas looks like a drunk. <laughs> he looks like a fifty-five-year-old drunk that's walking around with a sword. And uh, Arthas has a neck now. He does. Yeah. <laughs> There were supposed to be four hours of reforged cutscenes, promised after them showing a fully remade intro cinematic. Well, what ended up happening is there was four minutes of reforged cutscenes. Uh, four hours of remastered cutscenes. And I think this was a massive draw card for people sure. because they got to see those. When they saw the culling of Stratholme uh, tra uh, cinematic, you were yeah. like, whoa, that looks incredible. Yep. And given how important the story is to Warcraft 3, that was a huge draw card for people. They would have loved to have seen that shit. They promised a cinematic style of camera work for the whole thing. You know, dramatic cuts to characters, wide shots, close-ups, far more dynamic scenes with a lot of work. What did they actually ship with War 3 Reforged? Well, it's just like Warcraft 3, the original, the RTS camera, and some talking text boxes. Criminal dude. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen such a downgrade uh, from since like Watch Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> actually showed enhanced cutscenes, and the cutscenes are literally Garbage! There's the same fucking shit that was in the game. They fucking lied! Is there still a vision that you want to reimagine some of the story arcs? Are you focusing on just making it look the best it possibly can? We weren't happy where we were where we were going with that kind of culling treatment as it became talked about in the office and You're kinda slow for a human, aren't you? And we decided to dial it back a bit, so all of the cameras have been reworked. As we've been talking about, yeah. all of the models are new, and there's tons of new animations, gestures, and... Look, I don't have time for this nonsense. This entire city must be purged. How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. You are not my king yet, boy. Nor would I obey that command even if you were. They may look fine now but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. What? This entire city must be purged. How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. 
As your future king, I order you to purge this city. You are not my king yet, boy. Nor would I obey I feel hollow inside. The original cinematics from Warcraft 3, they are the same as before, but they're in 1080p instead of 240. Now that is something that they, um, you know, they did say before, and they said they would just be 1080p renders, but, you know, for a game sold on four plus hours of reforged cutscenes, what ended up happening is completely unacceptable because of the bulk of the cutscenes. Cinematics has been the one thing that has been Blizzard's bread and butter for like 15 years. They advertised that there was going to be like four plus hours worth of new cinematics and cutscenes and this and that, and they literally didn't do anything. One, you didn't do what you advertised. Two, the game came out a month later than you advertised it was going to come out. It's just, it, the, the whole thing's like an absolute mess. My patience has ended. Of righteousness. Remember, our line has always ruled with wisdom and strength. Describe Reforged with a Warcraft 3 quote. You are past redemption. Job's done. You did this to our people knowingly? For my father, the king. Additional supply depots required. That's it. I'm dead. I was a fool to trust in the light. What? Were you hoping to piss on them one last time before you left his kingdom to rot? Then I must consider this an act of treason. You no longer need to sacrifice for your people. Look, brothers. The traitor king. I've no time for games. I'll consume the living and the dead. It was not a nightmare, young warchief, but a vision. Follow me and I will reveal what your future holds. I think they were trying to summon demons. The Scourge will devour all. You lost your mind. That's not in the blueprints. How did that get approved? And they say Blizzard games don't have bugs. You lied to your men and betrayed the mercenaries who fought for you. What's happening to you, Arthas? Is vengeance all that's important to you? Spare me, Muradin. You weren't there to see what Malganus did to my homeland. Who dares defile this ancient land? Making it more accessible, but also like to look like a modern game that people can go, you know, fall in love with this story again, and while doing that, get comfortable with playing an RTS. Let's let's bring this to a, a level where it looks so good that you could, you know, want to tune in and watch it, you know, uh, as an eSport. If I turn on Team Colors and I'm blue instead of purple, by the time my Greyshold techs up and becomes a keep, or becomes a stronghold, it will turn purple again. For him it's the same. He's red now, but as soon as he upgrades his castle, it will turn blue. Meaning it's mine. All your base are belong to us. This has been a bug for two months, since day one of the beta, but they haven't fixed it because they had to focus on uh, making the release. And they say Blizzard games don't have bugs. Oh my god, the cover thing! Not like this! I played a multiplayer game of uh, Reforged last night. I was blue. My opponent was blue. So we're both blue. And the shade was very close to each other, so I couldn't see who's who. It was an undead mirror. So our fiends looked exactly the same. So the only thing I could do was uh, to use allied colors, which makes me blue but my opponent red. This is a functionality that has been in Warcraft 3 for a long time. There is just one problem though, in Reforged both graphic settings, when a unit transforms or reappears, burrow and burrow, become a lurker from a hydralisk, become a destroyer from a statue, those kind of things, when it reappears or transforms, it defaults to its original color, in this case, blue. 
Now I know what a triple A game is. You press triple A to reset the team color bug for peasants that turn freaking blue. <laughs> Dude, what? Are the enforcer portraits just the rogues with a helmet on? <laughs> Cool trick. I don't like the new graphics, not because I lack uh, familiarity with them. I don't like it because I cannot tell when my units are dying. Uh, I can't see as easily whether defense upgrade is turned on. Uh, which unit is mine, which one is his. What's a ghoul and what's a skeleton warrior? Uh, the portrait of a knight and a peasant are quite similar. So sometimes I think I grouped peasants into my group. There are a number of things that don't really rely on familiarity, but just uh, peripheral vision. Like a guard tower, it dies, it crumbles too slowly, so the, the roof of the guard tower is visible for so long that to me it looks like a available guard tower instead of a dead one. So there are a number of things, and really it's just a disadvantage to, to use it. I think you, meet, you need to make the Reforged graphics so good that it's a visual advantage to use it. That's how you get people to switch. There's no point investing in familiarity if it's gonna make you a worse player. Dude, look at this! You see this shit? Nice, nice classic graphics, dude. Hold, you have to be like dead center in the fucking middle to select it. We want to incrementally release things so that there isn't a big patch at the end with a lot of problems. Luther, your timing couldn't have been better. Don't celebrate yet, son. This battle's far from over. <laughs> I'm surprised that you kept things together as long as you did, lad. If I hadn't arrived just then... Look, I did the best I could, Uther. It's working! I know it's working! <laughs> He's just walking away. <laughs> <laughs> there's Warcraft 3 and there's Warcraft 3 Reforge, except they're both the exact same thing, so if you have one, you technically have both, you're just not buying the reskin. Because the only difference between Reforged and Classic is this button right here, nothing else. Anything anyone else tells you is a lie, anything Blizzard tells you is a lie. There's no separate audio channel modification like in SE2. Voices, announcer, music. Me in a raven's name. <laughs> It's a work in progress. Those pylons they put under the bear, that was actually a cyclone. For my brothers, I am prepared. So don't they still have like the original assets of the game somewhere where they can just like how did how they make the graphics worse? Then asking about like, do you guys have like old assets, the old audio yeah. recordings, all that stuff? It's like, no, we don't have any of that old they're, stuff. They're at, just, a, they're at a computer in a back room somewhere. Yeah, they're like, yeah, we realized we didn't have the Warcraft One source code, but then we found it in some yeah. hallway or some, <laughs> some old tower in there. Exactly. Like, what? Yeah. They should have used this opportunity to create something that was awesome. Like one of the most uh, you know iconic moments is. Yeah. Whenever Arthas fights Illidan on like the fucking steps of the frozen throne, he's about to become the Lich King and Illidan wants to fight his ass for it. And the original cinematic was literally like fucking out of something that they literally just ran out of budget. Where Arthas, they, they, they yeah. hit each other a couple times, they're like, man, fuck you. Illidan goes up in the air and then Arthas, you don't even see him do the swing. Here's the thing, they could have turned that into a fucking badass cinematic. Like, you right. can hate on this Shadowlands cinematic all you want, but the fight between Bol Bolvar and Sylvanas was cool. It was cool. And they just yeah. recreated it. It's almost like, you know how the YouTube Rewind this year was just basically a top 10 list? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. There's no key remapping functionality within this game in terms of like a menu. Yeah. You need to go into like the .txt files to be able to remap your keys. All right, level one. Yep. 
Somewhere in the Arathi Highlands, Thrall, the young war chief of the Orkish Horde, wakes from his troubling dream. I just lost. Uh, well, let's try normal. <laughs> I thought I could do better than that. <laughs> uh. What? What just happened? Defeat? Do this. Click the move button in the bottom right corner of your screen and then click on the banner. Where is my boy? Really? It empowered creators with an editor to help them bring their own dreams to life. And their custom games gave rise to new genres. <laughs> Warcraft 3 is apparently very popular in China, mm -hmm. and so they consulted a lot of uh, experts and pros over there in China and they said like, well, we're really into the modding scene so we kind of want you to push things. We want you to add more modding tools, more flexibility. And making maps faster means making more maps, having less bugs. There's no graphics. Is it because this shit's all fucked up? Yeah. Couple. What? <laughs> Forty dollars. Why is everyone mad about Reforged? Because it broke ninety-five percent of custom games. It looks awful. The performance is terrible, and we have to pay thirty dollars for a reskin. They also deleted Classic, and all the games got fucked up because of it. So this whole time, the game's been broken because it just released today. No one's been able to join any custom games let alone even barely host them. TLDR, every aspect of Reforge is broken. The campaign works to an extent. The custom games are broken. The login is kind of broken. The connection is broken. The online activity is broken. The frame rate is shit. The stabilization is terrible. 90% of the custom games don't work. If you try to play classic, it doesn't work because they force you to update into Reforge. So people who didn't buy Reforged are fucked. People who bought Reforged are fucked. People who had both of them get double fucked and if you try to tell people about it, then Blizzard tries to ban you on their website. All your Warcraft 3 Reforged custom games belong exclusively to Blizzard. Instant and total copyright ownership of all custom games. What that means is any custom game made in Warcraft 3 Reforged cannot be replicated anywhere else. This gives Blizzard the power to shut down any standalone versions of custom games made. They do not have to even give you a credit. They don't even have to mention your yeah, fucking so like name. By someone. But the community, you guys, have done so much to keep this game vital, you know, since our, you know, absence for the past 13 years or so. There's things that have nothing to do with Warcraft 3 that are really compelling experiences that are being made inside of this game by the map making community uh, and doing everything we can to let them extend those experiences and continue to to offer up new things that we aren't even responsible for, I think is awesome. That's the real legs behind this, is the community. My hoof and your ass have an appointment. One of the really awesome things is with such established communities, like we have people to go talk to to tell us how to do it right. Uh, and even as we're, we're patching right now, like they, they let us know when we're wrong. <laughs> uh, we have a great kind of backstop there in the community itself to make sure we're, we're making good decisions and that we're delivering. And, and Blizzard is over here expecting people to create things within this new system where they capitalize it and you get zero credit and you don't fucking exist to them. In terms, you do not exist. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's important. That's worse than the creation club from Bethesda. Somehow, Blizzard is now worse than Bethesda. I feel like everything Blizzard's done that's good has always been an accident. Wait, look at look at my FPS. 130, 80, 40, 30, 120, 28. <laughs> 20 FPS? <laughs> what happened, dude? 
Okay, we got. Hold on a minute here. You, off. 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 Your band don't exist. Do you think your FPS at 35 to 40 is stable enough, or would you play better on a stable 60 to 120? No, when I was buying my $6,000 PC, I was really hoping I would have more than 30 FPS in a 2020 release. But, you know, maybe, maybe someday when I have a bigger budget. Joke, by the way, I did not spend 6K, but yeah. <laughs> And like Blizzard responses tend to be, I think we remember that BlizzCon one, it's a bit tone deaf and it does somewhat miss the point. They didn't apologize really for anything. To me, personally, like whenever I apologize to somebody, I say, I'm sorry, and this is what I'm going to do to fix it. Hey, it's not working. Oh my god, it won't, it, Blizzard won't let me create saying Taiwan number one. <laughs> Game name could... Game name contains restricted words. I'm not fucking kidding. Okay, let's see if I say China number one. China number one. Create. Oh my god, it works! <laughs> my dream is that, that that team, who are now RTS experts and have spent all these years mm. remaking this stuff, would then make a Warcraft 4. That is my- I like it. I watched the Barrow prisons for over 10,000 years. Yet, I'm the one who feels caged. The, the game doesn't feel like a Blizzard game. And that was something that people started to see whenever they were looking at the new models, is they're like, this, some of these look good, right? The fidelity on the models is good. But do they really, are they, a, is it a Blizzard game? Is it a Blizzard model? Is this something that you can recognize? And the answer is no. Uh, I think a lot of people didn't feel like that same Blizzard touch with Reforged that they did with other games. If this isn't, the absolute proof that Activision has destroyed Blizzard. Yeah, cut the heart out of it. And cut the heart yeah. out of it. It's the soul out of Blizzard. From the player-focused company that offered us some of the most polished experiences in the PC market to the company that released Warcraft 3 Reforged. They may even have taken the crown from Bethesda, as Reforged might be one of the most incompetent major releases in modern gaming. So the people that can make the company more successful are sales and marketing people and they end up running the companies. And the product people get driven out of the decision-making forums. And the companies forget what it means to make great products. Product genius that brought them to, the, to that monopolistic position gets rotted out by people running these companies who have no conception of a good product versus a bad product. They have no conception of the craftsmanship that's required to take a good idea and turn it into a good product. And they really have no feeling in their hearts, usually, about wanting to really help the customers. We didn't live up to the high standards that we really set for ourselves. And for that, I am sorry. You think I do, but I don't. I am the ghost of Warcraft past. We just wanted to make great games. It was really as simple as that. Our goal to be a company that does the most incredible gaming experiences, that develops those and creates those, is something that's part of our DNA that we're going to continue with for a long time to come. Everyone here truly loves these products. It's a big deal. You know, how many companies in the world, you know, you go to work, you have a great job, you, you know, you pay the bills. I don't know how many places there are out there where people truly believe in what they're doing. That many places that truly engender the level of, of, of pride um, that you associate, you know, with that with that logo, you know, that little blue logo, it means a lot to me. As long as they have good people who are focused and dedicated to making the very, very best games, um, with that experience that others can't deliver, they're going to do extremely well. I think it's more important than ever that all of us that have been at Blizzard for a long time, that we really take the time and talk to the new employees and teach them about our culture, teach them about our values and tribal knowledge, and and make sure that we stay Blizzard. Teaching the next generation of employees to, to, to understand that that is important and that those values do really go to the heart of the people that have been here forever. That is the foundation for Blizzard in the past, the Blizzard today, and, and Blizzard in the future. As long as we remember what our, where our foundation is and, and what's made us successful to this point and keep that in mind in everything that we're doing, then you know, definitely the future of Blizzard uh, can be very bright.
How does it feel to have lived long enough to see all of your favorite franchises go down in flames? Feels great. 